Hello, YouTube. Salivate Metal here. I purchased some plain silver bars from my local coin shop a while ago here. And as you can see, it's just a plain incused stamped silver um, eagle here. Silver eagle design sort of on the uh, piece with the wing spread with a ribbon that has .999 silver inscribed, left justified totally. Quite interesting piece. And uh, purchased these two. My local coin shop owner had no clue about them. He had acquired them. And so we're going to do a little bit of testing here with the famous CCT coin slide. Notice the bars fit perfectly here from side to side. So we're going to do the slide test in this manner of form. Very nice. That one passed the test. It's a nice slow slide there. And of course, as was indication, you can always do the specific gravity test, but really no need. I'm sure they are genuine. But uh, we'll also do another level of verification. We'll check their weight here. And as you can see, they are both slightly above weight. So very nice indeed. So there they are. These pieces, the local coin shop owner had no clue anything about them. I purchased them for just a little, maybe a dollar or two above spot. But very nice indeed. Um, and we can see here that one of them is stamped with the number one. And I'm assuming that the, uh, the person stamping them probably got sidetracked by the Pokemon Go app and didn't finish the work to put 1.0 troy ounces on there and neglected to stamp the second one because he probably had uh, was excited because he caught a Pokemon. But nonetheless, I had no idea of what these bars were. I just purchased them because I thought they were really cool looking. And then I watched Stackmaster G's video on his latest acquisitions and he had purchased a larger version of this bar with the same stamping on it. And uh, the manufacturer is Foster's. So very interesting indeed. And that's all I know about it. I didn't, uh, he was aware of these one, uh, of these one ounce bars, um, flat bars, but uh, had not seen any. Well, I'm showing them, hopefully he'll see this video and see these pieces. But as you can see, they look to be extruded pieces and uh, they have flat backs, no rims, and a plain edge there which you can kind of see the extrusion there, marks there. Uh, but uh, very interesting and very fascinating pieces indeed. Nice bars, vintage, with the Fosters being the manufacturer of them. So there they are. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if any of you know anything about these bars, feel free to post it in the comments section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.